If you want sunshine for 24 hours a day in summer, move to Norway, north of the Arctic Circle. On the flip side, in winter the sun won't show up at all. The country is skinny and long. Flip it over on the southern end and it will reach all the way down to Rome. If you love rain, go to the skinny and long Norway. You will be blessed with 239 days of rainy weather. What a treat! 22% tax for everyone, even if you are a millionaire. Money in the bank will make you forget the daily hardship. Maybe this is one of the reasons why the Norwegians are rated the happiest people in the world in 2017. And here comes the bonus. Hikers will love it. Put your tent up or park your caravan or camper van anywhere in the countryside and you are at the winning end. It's free, legal and encouraged. Believe it or not, the Sami culture dates back 10,000 years. The Sami people are the indigenous branch of the Norwegians. While the Bedouins run their camels through the desert, the Sami do the same with reindeers. The only difference is the climate, which is icy cold and landscape covered with snow instead of sand on blaring sunshine. There are still 2,800 nomads in the north, herding hundreds of thousands of reindeers in spring from the inland to northern Norway and to the North Cape. And those guys are busy day and night until they end up in the feeding grounds. Join them and you will throw the toll after three days, so we were told. Why does the woe never let go from your lips when you travel this country? The answer is easy. All the hidden gems like breathtaking fjords, spiced with steep cliffs and eye-catching green meadows and vigorous bodies of waters cascading off the mountains down 600 meters in thundering torrents is just what the nature lover dreamt of. Nectar for the eyes. Not everything is sunshine. Go to the Arctic Circle and you will have to battle nature's unforgiving forces. Adapt or suffer extreme hardship, whatever. Nature will teach you a very hard lesson if you are coming unprepared or being overly confident. where the sun never goes down in summer and where the only land between you and the North Pole is the Svalbard Archipelago and where the Atlantic Ocean meets the Arctic Ocean? Sounds like the end of the world. The North Cape comes close. Here, at the northernmost point of Europe, a vertical cliff drops down into the Barents Sea. French prince Louis Philippe de Orleans stopped by and King Oscar II of Sweden was here in 1873, putting the North Cape on the map as a tourist attraction. Coming by boat, they had to endure some heavy leg work, climbing the 300 meters to the top. They never came back. Today you drive up there, buy a t-shirt and a cup of coffee and look over the barren sea where the sun shines at the horizon at midnight. Puffins. You will find them not far away from the North Cape on an island, a real bird's paradise. During summer, the puffins breed in large colonies with their large, colorful beak 
and the red and black markings around their eyes, they are cute and lovable. This island is the home of thousands of these delightful little creatures. If you got some spare time, a visit is highly recommended. From Kiel in Germany to this point on the globe, we traveled about 7,100 kilometers by boat and Hammerfest is just ahead. It's in the Arctic Circle, 457 kilometers inside to be precise. In the past, it was a haunted town. It was destroyed, ripped apart, raised to the ground and effectively wiped out from the map time and again. The town has been to hell numerous times and yet keeps coming back. Because of its ice-free harbor, it was overrun by Napoleon. The British plundered and looted it during a week-long blockade, leaving the city to starve, and the Germans joined the game in the Second World War, burning it to the ground. The faith of Hammerfest can be compared with the destruction of Mostar in Bosnia, Hiroshima in Japan, and Dresden in Germany as a town that has been destroyed yet risen from the ashes with a deep and defiant response. The town has a mascot, the polar bear, a genuine survivor. It embodies the vitality of the community but also the town's uncanny ability to survive for centuries in a far-flung corner on the top of the globe despite the worst intention of men. In winter, far from a period of absolute darkness, the polar night in Tromsø is a time of beautiful colors and soft, indirect light. Despite being in the Arctic Circle, the climate is surprisingly mild thanks to the Gulf Stream. The mountains in northern Norway are more rugged than in the south, and even in June their peaks around Tromsø are covered in snow. The town is surrounded by a spectacular landscape, making for some serious, incredible views, and all of the landscapes we saw that surrounding Tromsø was one of the most beautiful. Looking back, our 18 days trip has been a wonderful experience with lots of outbursts of excitement. We hiked the Palpeg Rock and stood close to the edge of a cliff with a 600 meter vertical drop. No fence or railing. Two amazing waterfalls in Iceland with torrents of water cascading down gave us an insight of how beautiful nature can be. We went to Svalbard and got a whiff of remoteness high up in the Arctic, a thousand kilometers south of the North Pole, and last but not least, we enjoyed the luxury on our cruise ship of being spoiled with gourmet food served by friendly staff.